hey guys uh, welcome to another tutorial video on SOLIDWORKS in this I will teach you guys how to design and model a spring with variable pitch a helical spring with variable pitch these springs are mainly used in the suspension systems of two wheelers and four wheelers uh, so yeah let's get straight, out, straight into it uh, I'll be using the SOLIDWORKS 2014 here click on new part select the top plane normal to go to sketch circle circle smart dimension diameter of 10 mm make sure your dimensions are in mm uh, if it is in different units just come here and select mmgs uh, after you have given the dimension of 10 mm now go to features curves curves helix and spiral in this uh, let the variable pitch be defined by pitch and revolution select pitch and revolution parameters variable pitch uh, here come down to start angle let it be zero degrees and in the clockwise direction itself now coming to different uh, under regional parameters we, sh we should give the different pitches uh, I'm going to give uh, five pitches different uh, of different uh, revolutions and different pitch sizes Okay, so my first pitch, I want it to be symmetric, so my first pitch is going to be 1 mm and it'll, it's going to have 0 revolutions. The second pitch is going to be 1 mm and 1 revolution. The third one is going to be 4 mm and 6 revolutions. Just click on tab and the fourth one is going to be, going to be shown. So the fourth one is going to be 1 mm and 11 revolutions. Again click on tab fifth one is going to be 1 mm and 12 revolutions and you need not define the height and dia it is already defined uh, it is defined by itself just and one more thing to remember is that the height of the last pitch is about is 27 mm just keep that in mind you'll need that at the end it's about uh, it, it is 27 mm uh, okay so after we have defined all the pitch and the revolutions of d uh, different variable pitches just click on ok and you can see here the different pitches the skeleton of different pitches are defined now uh, now to make this into a 3d form select front plane normal to sketch go to circle smart dimension 1 mm only 1 mm so we need this to define it uh, to to render this into a 3d form uh, now what you need to do is uh, hold control select the just a second okay hold control select the center point of the circle and anywhere on this uh, pitch curve anywhere just select this pitch curve helix and you'll be shown with the relation of peers click on peers okay so now you can see that the center is coincident or it has pierced the helix of the spring now click on ok after you have uh, defined the relations after that uh, you go to features and in that uh, you should uh, first first you should exit the sketch now exit the sketch uh, after that you go to features and this uh, swept boss base option is going to get activated click on swept boss base and in this in the first that is the profile profile you need to select this circle so profile is selected now coming to the path uh, the path you need to select this helix S select helix and the path so now we can see that the spring model is being rendered uh, just click on ok So you can see that the spring model has been rendered and uh, it is a variable pitch. Um, after this, what you need to do is, I, I told you guys to remember the height of the last pitch that is uh, 27 mm. Uh, as we know, these springs, the top, ends, the top and the bottom ends are going to be uh, chopped off because they are going to be, uh, because they are going to be held uh, or they are going to be attached to different surfaces 
uh, to do this you should uh, select on the surfaces option here if some of you do not have the surfaces option just click on any of the other boxes and right click on it you will find surfaces here just uh, click on the surfaces option and it will get added I'll just show it to you guys I have removed the surfaces option here I'll click on any one of these boxes and uh, click on surfaces so it gets added after that click on surfaces and uh, we need to cut the bottom end so we'll just cut the bottom end of the spring or we can we'll make it flat uh, select the top lane and uh, you will after you click on surfaces select the top lane and you'll see cut with surface option here click on cut with surface here you'll see that after you click on that the top lane is selected here and you just select and make sure the arrow mark is in the downward direction here and select ok here you can see that the top uh, the bottom end of the spring is cut flat so now it can be fixed to a flat surface easily again going back we need to sell uh, or you can say cut the other end of the spring too T to do that we need a reference plane uh, come here there is an option called reference geometry click on reference plane first reference that is the top plane so with respect to the top plane we are going to reference the reference plane here uh, in this you will see uh, after you select top plane I had told you guys to remember the height of the last variable pitch that is 27 mm so you will click on distance and uh, here it might be different uh, dimension for you guys just uh, click uh, or just type in 27 so the top plane is going to int uh, the reference plane is going to intersect the top end of the spring here in this way click on ok now we need to cut this part to do that again select surfaces select this plane and you need to select cut with surface after we have selected cut with surface make sure this arrow mark is in the opposite direction because if you do it in the uh, if it is in the in the downward direction the except this top part the uh, rest of everything is going to get cut so we need only the top part to get cut so just make sure the arrow mark is in the top top is pointing upwards now select ok so you can see that this part also has been cut and both the ends of the spring are cut flat so that they can be uh, fixed to flat surfaces easily then hide uh, click on this right click on this plane and click on hide so this plane gets hidden so yeah guys uh, this is the spring with variable pitch which are used in different suspension systems of different automobiles or two wheeler systems uh, let me just change let me just remove this where is that option yeah you can see that and you can select different materials you can just click on appearance and in appear appearance you can select whatever metal you want polished steel chromium plate and all that that's it guys this is how you model a spring or a helical spring with a variable pitches uh, variable pitch uh, if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them thank you